Alright, so hey guys, so I just got the package of the tarantulas from Fear Not Tarantulas. Uh, there's some really nice stuff in here. I'm really glad it came. It was supposed to, well, I was hoping it would have come last week on a Friday, but of course it didn't. So now it's on a Tuesday, and you guys will see this on a Friday. But yeah, so let me open it up and see how everyone's doing. There's some real nice stuff in here. Alright, so there we go. So now it's open. So let me show you this real quick. Fear Not Tarantulas. Uh, FearNotTarantulas.com She's definitely a really good seller here in the U.S. Only place she ships. And then that's the order receipt form. We'll see that later. So then let's see what's inside. Um, she's a really great dealer. Normally packaged really well. As you can tell, styrofoam insulated all the way around. Real tight in here. Let me see if I can get those with one hand. Might need a, yeah, I'll set the camera down again to get through that. It's so tight. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so there should be seven total vials in here. So there's those five, six, and seven. So let me show you what I have. So the five that are all together... This is a NINC communal group. It's a group of five. They're all about a half inch. And these are the gold form. They're not the normal. And the common name is uh, Trinidad Olive. So yeah. Then this one. This one's a real small, small one. This right here is a H. David Bowie. Uh... This one, it's been called the uh, Malaysian Orange Huntsman. Uh, this is not a tarantula, it is a huntsman. But it's one really nice, pretty huntsman. So yeah, and then this one right here is probably the crown of here. This is a true Ferrofoso Blondie, a Glyph Bird Eater. If you guys remember, I have my Ferrofoso Sturmy, which is a Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. But these right here are a whole lot more rarer. And uh, they get about the same size. Uh, when I open this guy up, I will actually show you guys the difference. In case you were wondering. So now let me get all the setups for all these guys and then I'll be back. Alright, so the spider I will be rehousing first is the H. David Bowie. Um, he is only one eighth of an inch, so it's a very, very tiny spider. Um, these guys right now, they're feeding on real small crickets and fruit flies. And I have those ordered already. They're not here yet. But Huntsman's, they are a very fast true spider. So I'm going to have to watch out. I do have a catch cup. Um, but they are, other than that, pretty harmless. Other than their speed. And they're fine. Um, but let's just see where he's at. Alright, so I have it unrolled and, oh, here we go, oh man, yeah, he's real small, I didn't even see him. Alright, so let me see if I can show you guys this. So right there, there's the spider. Uh, honestly, he's a little bigger than what I was expecting. If you'll focus on him. Um... 
All right, so let me put them into its enclosure. It's real simple. It just has substrate in there, and then there's a little fake leaf in there for him to hide on because huntsmen's are arboreal, which means they like they like to climb. All right, so there we go. So yeah, so that should be a nice size for the hem. And huntsmen, they do grow pretty quickly. Um, so hopefully it'll grow fast. And the holes, I made sure this one, even before I saw them, were plenty small enough. I know you can't tell, but they do go through. It doesn't look like it, but yeah, he, he won't be able to escape now. Alright, so let's do the communal now, the Trinidad Olive. Alright, so here's the enclosure I will, I will be using for the communal. Uh, it's a real small enclosure. They need that this size just because you want to make sure they are close and they interact with each other. Uh, this is the same thing I do for my Mbalforis that I have also. Um, you'll see there's uh, a cork bark down there and sphagnum moss and a uh, fake leaf. Uh, the Trinidad Olives, they make webbing. So they'll kind of make a whole bunch of web tunnels and uh, all over the place. So it should be nice. Uh, I do need to moisten it down. It's pretty dry. But let me put them in here first. So let me get the first one ready. Alright, so I have the first one here. Um, with this species, they are pretty fast. Uh, they're not uh, real aggressive. Uh, these are all these these are a dwarf species so hopefully they'll have their adult colors already don't know if you can tell them there but yeah not enough light I can see the first one uh, this should be pretty fun just because they're so fast and having to deal with multiples of them at the same time All right, there we go So then let me just unroll it. Alright, there we go. So not much color on him right now. He's walking around just fine, so that's good. So then let me just get him in there. It's so a good thing this one isn't going real crazy yet. All right, he, he's in now. So now I'm going to have to keep an eye on that one. But yeah, this should be uh, a good amount of room for them. Um, So let me start getting the next one. They're all taped together. Yeah, let me show you this guy real quick. But yeah, he's looking good too, so same thing. I'll just kind of poke him. Alright, there we go. He's in here. Will be the the third the third Trinidad Olive. And he's coming right out, so I'll just kinda poke him and hopefully he'll come out. All right, there we go. All right, so number three done. Let me just kind of poke him in there. He's kind of climbing out. There we go. All right, so two more. And we should be good. All right, so here's number four. And by the way, if you're not familiar with tarantula packing, this is the uh, proper way in these little vials. You may think, oh, that's way too small for them, but it's actually it's safe for them just because they're real fragile. And if they get knocked around in shipping, then they can get injured. So there's number four. 
also doing just fine. Yeah, hopefully these guys will go well together. Alright, then let me get the final one. Alright, so I have the fifth and final one right here. It's also looking like he'll be just fine. Yeah, he's kind of coming out. Yeah, so let me just kind of poke him in. You can see that other one there. But yeah. Come on, little guy. And one thing that I'm real glad is most of these guys, their abdomen is real nice size. So a good thing I don't have to be filling them up. But yeah, so there we go. So, one, two, three, four, and then the fifth, fifth one underneath that leaf. But yeah, hopefully they should like this. This should give them enough room to make their webbing tunnels. And I also like this species on its own. Uh, without the communal, I like, I've been wanting. But with plus the communal, it's a lot more interesting. Alright, so now let's move on to the Goliath. Alright, so hey guys, so now we're on to the final one, the Farifosa Blondie. I'm so, I'm real glad I was able to get this species just because they are very rare. Uh, they're not commonly bred. Um, and there's only three tarantulas in the Farifosa family. There's the Blondie and the Sturmy like I have, and then there's the Apple Physis which is the uh, pink-footed Goliath. Um, and before I put her in here, let me just quickly show you. So I have a nice big piece of cork bark with a nice big hide for her. And then I have a water bowl and then plenty of substrate. Uh, I want to give her plenty of room to come out. And you can see she's already coming out to say hi. So yeah, I hope she does real well in here. It gets real big. All right, so there we go. She did, she did most of the work for us. So let me show you guys her. Um, so let me just kind of try to show you the difference between Sturmy and Blondie. So the first leg segment, which is right here, the blondies, they will have hair on it. So they have a lot more hairs. And then let me just quickly go over to my Sturmy and show you what her hairs look like. All right, so here's my Sturmy. I'm gonna kind of try to poke her so she spreads her legs out. And we can see. Yeah, you guys can't really see it, but kind of the very first segment, they do not have any hairs on, but then the blondies do. So let me go back to the blondie now. All right, so now we're black, back onto the blondie. So you can just see how much more fuzzier she is. And these spiders, they're not commonly bred at all. Uh, they're real difficult to get, so that's why I'm so glad I was able to get one. Um, one thing I'm glad is it doesn't look like she's kicked any hairs at all, uh, yet. Um, they have really bad hairs, the uh, Farifosos have some of the worst. Um, so now something I want to try real quickly before I end the video, so I want to see if she's hungry, because her abdomen is a little small. So let me get a cricket and try on her. Alright, so I got a nice large cricket for her. So this should be a good first meal for her. So I'm going to drop it in. And these guys are great eaters. And you'll see. Well. That was very slow. 
not was I expecting. Uh, actually, I think she hasn't bitten to the cricket yet. I think she's waiting on it to move. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we can catch her. And he, you can tell she's going to have plenty of room in this enclosure. But these guys, they do grow uh, pretty quickly since they're being the largest species, well, the largest genus. Um, but one thing I really hate is some places they label um, Ferrophoso stermis, the uh, burgundy goliath, as these, the Ferrophoso blondi, when they're clearly not, like even in the pictures they have. And that's one thing I hate, so they can kind of bunk up the price for not the spider you promised. So I want to see if she's actually going to eat this. So, yeah, the cricket... It's moving around now. She hasn't dove on it yet. She was acting like she was hungry. She kind of jumped on it. Alright, so yeah, I'll get this out of here. She's getting real stressed. Um, but yeah, that should be it. I'm really happy. Uh, definitely very positive review. So if you're thinking about buying from Tanya at Fear Not, uh, just don't even think about it. She'll do great work with you. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday um, around 3 o'clock. Um, I have a Instagram account if you guys want to follow. I will be posting some pictures of these new spiders on there and other stuff and then also all right then i'll see you guys next time goodbye